in this question we're going to uh, write an ionic equation for this reaction uh, uh, this barium nitrate reacting with sodium sulfate producing barium sulfate and sodium nitrate now this is an example of ionic precipitation but the equation is already given uh, we need to first uh, write down the states and find the solubility of the substances uh, if you if you look at the solubility table you would notice that all nitrates anything that contains NO3 minus 1 or group 1 they're soluble so this compound over here is in aqueous state similarly Na2SO4 is also a group 1 compound it's also soluble and uh, this one is also a group 1 compound so this is also in aqueous state it's soluble and let's look at the let's open the solubility table and find out what barium sulfate uh, whether it's soluble or not so here's the solubility table and I'm going to look at sulfates this is where sulfates the third statement all sulfates compounds are soluble except barium sulfate which indicates that barium sulfate is not soluble so BASO4 is going to be a solid it's not going to be a, going to be soluble and this is the substance anything that is aqueous acid base or salt uh, that's going to dissociate but barium sulfate over here is not going to dissociate so I'm going to underline substances that would be I'm going to rewrite this equation but this time I'm going to write it in dissociated form so these underlying substances they when you dissolve them in water in solution the ions are going to dissociate and the ions would scatter in the solution so starting with barium nitrate BA is remember to identify the ions barium is in group 2 it has a charge of 2 plus and this other ion is nitrate which is NO3 minus 1 so it's NO3 minus 1 ion uh, and there would be two NO3 minus one ion. Uh, ignore the small two because previously they were joined together. But when they are in scattered form, the nit two two nitrate ions are no longer together. So, so you write this big two over here as a co as a coefficient. Uh, this indicates that you have two separate nitrate ions now. So, same thing happens with sodium sulfate. There are two sodium ions and there's one sulfate ion. So in scattered form, the two sodium ions are no longer together. So uh, you write a big two and the sulfate has also dissociated and these are all going to be in aqua state they're roaming around in solution then you have your products and barium sulfate is not so it's not soluble so it's a solid it's not going to dissociate its ions are not going to uh, dissociate or scatter and it's going they're going to remain as solid and your product the other product is sodium nitrate that would also dissociate it has two ions one is sodium ion and the other one is nitrate ions uh, there were two so so sodium nitrate molecules so there's two sodium ions and two nitrate ions and they are also in aqueous state uh, the last thing I need to do is I need to find the spectator ions spectator ions are the ones that are not undergoing any change in the reaction now if you look at barium ions Let's start with barium ions in aqueous state. Or on the other side, you have BASO4 solid, which basically indicates that barium took part in the reaction and changed it into something totally different. So I'm not going to remove barium ions. They're not spectator ions. They are actually taking part in the reaction. If you look at nitrate ions, there are two nitrate ions in aqueous state over here, and there are two nitrate ions in aqueous state in the products as well, which indicates that nitrate did nothing in the reaction this nitrate remained completely unchanged and it was doing nothing it was just a mere spectator as the reaction happened so you're going to remove that from the equation the next ion is sodium ions so in the reactants you had two sodium ions in aqua state and in your products you still have two sodium ions in aqua state indicating that sodium ions are not doing anything in the reaction they're merely spectators so get rid of them don't write them write them down in the equation the last ion is sulfate uh, if you look over here sulfate ions are in aqua state over there they are forming a compound BSO4 in solid state so that means sulfate is actually taking part in the reaction so we have gotten rid of all the spectator ions now and what we need to do now is we just need to rewrite the equation without the spectator ions so it's going to be Ba2 plus in aqua state the other ion that's left over is SO4 2 minus ion in aqua state and my product is BASO4 and that is a solid so this over here is my net ionic equation for this reaction